Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tim back here with Test Demi live and direct and today's teaching session or today's video we're going to focus on lists. So shall we get it? Let's go, baby. All right. So today's video uh like we mentioned we're going to look at list and list is just another data type within Python. Um we've looked at one data type which uh was considered some kind of store or container which was variables where we had uh we used the seat assignment uh, example where you had Valerie that was assigned a seat then that seat assignment can be changed later she went from coach class to first class so if you haven't had a chance go back and look at the video session I did on a variable so for today we're gonna look at another data type which is called list and list is just another kind of store or a container we can actually put more information in there right so for example if you have like a grocery list of apples, oranges, bananas, fruits, uh, nuts, uh, uh, soda, whatever the case might be, chips, right? Uh, you have a list. So you have a list of NBA teams, the Houston Rockets and uh, Detroit Pistons, the Boston Celtics. So these are examples of lists, and you have to store these items in a list. So I'm going to look about look at lists, and we're going to say, well, you know, what are the great things uh, about lists? So let's let's kind of jump right into it. I'm just going to make my screen a full screen here so everyone can follow pretty uh, closely. Uh, so like I mentioned, uh, if we looked at a, uh, a variable, right? I call it the variable like NBA teams, right? A variable called NBA teams. But in this variable, right, if you guys understood, uh, we can only store uh, one particular item in this particular variable. So, for example, we can say uh, Sacramento, Sacramento Kings, right, as an NBA team. But we can only store one. A particular item or variable in this uh, container called a variable right so if we print this and we say the name of our actually let me just uh, put this in a double parentheses right so we're gonna say the name of our favorite and I'm not from Sacramento guys I'm just uh, this is uh, an example that just came to my mind and my favorite NBA team is all right, so we're just going to print this variable out, and we're going to print NBA teams. All right, so let's print this to the screen. I'm going to right-click, uh, run this, and it says the name of our favorite NBA team, as you can see here, is Sacramento Kings. But if you notice, um, we want to actually print NBA teams, right? But in a variable, if I wanted to print NBA teams, what would I have to do? So I'll do NBA teams, uh, or actually what I'll do, I'll say NBA team 1. Right, and let me change this variable to NBA Team One. Right, and uh, and what I'll do here is I'm gonna say uh, NBA Team Two, and I'm gonna put down uh, LA Lakers. Right, right. So if I want to print that also, what do I do? So I have to do this again. Right, I have to do print, and I'll do NBA uh, Team Two. Now what's gonna happen here? Uh, the name of my let me just change this this print function that we're printing now. The name of the name of uh, my favorite NBA teams. So we're going to make this plural, and we're going to say R. Uh, okay, we're going to say R. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, uh, we're going to say R, and you can see the name of our favorite NBA teams are Sacramento Kings, LA Lakers. But see how tedious this is. If I want to do my next NBA team, right? And I say NBA teams. Uh, let me say NBA team three, and I'm going to probably pick. Uh, let's say the Boston Celtics, right? So if we do our uh, Boston Celtics, and you know, same thing. We're gonna do print NBA NBA team three, right? So what is this gonna do? Is also gonna print the third NBA team. So we have a list of our NBA teams uh, that we're tracking. Uh, maybe you're in some kind of fantasy football or fantasy basketball. You want to track your favorite teams, favorite players, whatever the case might be. Uh, but you can see how tedious this is, this is and how many lines of code we can use to write this, right? So we'll just say variable variables, all right? NBA, NBA team variables. Uh, list uh, NBA team variables, okay? So we're looking at variables here. Now, but if you're looking at something uh, easier and a smarter way to write this, there's something called list. And when you're looking at list, this is the actual uh, proper syntax, the open and close uh, square brackets. So if I want to write my NBA teams, I can do the same thing, right? But I can make it much faster and make our code more efficient. So I'll just put NBA teams and same thing here. I'm just going to copy and paste uh, 
just kind of for the sake of time. So I'm going to do the same thing here, right? I'm going to uh, copy my NBA teams. I'm going to put Sacramento Kings. If you notice, I put this in this, uh, like I said, open and close square uh, brackets. I have to put a comma. Uh, type LA Lakers, right? Uh, Lakers. Right? So this is how you do a list. You can put a list of things here. NBA Lakers, and I can do also, for example, the Boston Celtics. Right? So this is the great thing about a list. So now what I can do, I can just print the list one time. Right? Because my list... And I can do NBA teams. My list can contain, and uh, let me do this. Let me put our demarcation like you guys have seen in previous videos. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and print this out. And you're going to see the difference, right? So see with a list, this put this NBA teams in a list. So we can, um, we can actually print this out the same way just for clarity's sake. All right, and let me print this out. And you're going to see, it says the name of my favorite NBA teams are. And it's actually now stored in this list as opposed to this variable um, uh, functionality that we used earlier. So that's the great thing about lists, right? Lists are just, it's just a way, like as I have here, how you can store objects in a specific order. So if you had an order of, uh, if you want to list NBA teams, you can just list them here. And every time you print them out to the screen, it's always going to print them out uh, in their specific order every specific time. Another great thing about list here is that you can actually put in a variety of different data types uh, within that same list. So let's see. Uh, Let's call this a uh, variety of data types. Variety of data types, right? It's going to be the name of this uh, uh, variable. I'm just going to put data types. And that's going to be the name of our list, variety of data types, right? It's, a, it's an actually a, a list. We call the name of our list, variety of data types. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, initialize this list. And I'm going to put in... Um, variety of things uh, I'm gonna say the number one right you can see that's an integer uh, actually that's not an integer sorry guys that's a string you guys should have known that by now and this is gonna say this is a string this is a string because we have it between these uh, double quotation marks here right here and here so that's a string right so a list can take a variety of different data types we're gonna have a floating point number we're gonna have uh, 2.5 and uh, let's see what other data type do we have? So we have our strings. Uh, we have our uh, we have our strings. We have our floating points. And we have an integer. So I think that's fine for now. So let's go ahead and just uh, print this out. And we can say uh, print that. Actually, we can also just go ahead and print this boolean, right? And print true um, and print false. Print those data types out. And let's go ahead and print this out. Uh, let's see here. And now, if you notice this list, right? You can see on this uh, next list, which list is called the variety of data types. Let me just make this uh, much clearer, okay? Uh, let's put this in here. Let's put, uh, let's see. Let's put print. And we're going to print this list uh, data type prints out, prints out uh, a variety of data types that the list can store that the list I know this is kind of wordy but I think it just kind of helps for explanation that the list can store All right so with the list again you're just storing information in uh, different objects or items in that particular list you can look at a list like a container right you can put a variety of things in there so it says this this list data type prints out a variety of data types that the list can store you can see it, st it stores an integer uh, this is a string floating point boolean true and boolean false okay uh, so that's a great thing about list. Uh, another thing you want to keep in mind when it comes to list is that um, lists are mutable, right? And this concept about mutable pretty much means that you can add or remove um, objects from the container. We're not going to cover too much about this on this video, but on the next one, uh, we're going to go into uh, we're going to go much deeper on how uh, a list can be mutable, right? A list is mutable. You also have tuples, which we're going to look at later, and also uh, strings, right? Are also mutable. In other words. You can add or remove objects uh, from the actual container. So let's let's do that here. Let me just show you. So if we go back to our NBA teams example, and let me print this back out here. All right. So if we go to our NBA teams example, and we want to um, append, right? So we said it's immutable. That a list is mutable. Uh, a list data type is mutable. So we say 
uh, we go to uh, NBA teams, right? So what you want to do is you want to run the append method, right? You can see that I hit that uh, dot. You can see the variety of methods came up, the M here on the screen. And you're going to just do append, right? So you want to append. What NBA team do you want to add, right? So we're going to add the, uh, the Golden State Warriors, right? The reigning champions, although I'm not happy with what Durant did, but hey, you know, so let me, <laughs> hey, man, you know. Uh, so we're going to add the Golden State Warriors, right? So we add them, and what we're going to do now, we'll go ahead and just um, print. What do you want to do? You want to print NBA teams, right? So print NBA teams. You're going to see at the very bottom, it's going to add Golden State Warriors to our list of NBA teams from earlier, right? Uh, let's see here. So you see that here? Uh, let me go back, and let me just add this. Okay, let me add this line here. What we had earlier all right let's print that again print that out to the screen you see it says the name of, of my favorite NBA teams are Sacramento Kings LA Lakers Boston Celtics and Golden State Warriors so that is just an example of list guys I wanted to kind of make that short and sweet um, in the next video we're actually gonna uh, look at a few more things um, so I want you to practice 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 and till then I'll see you in the next video and again if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube page. Go to testdemi.com to get free course material, free tutorials on software testing and how to get in. I'll see you, 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 you in the next video. Peace. We out.